Coffee chat day 34, sit down, grab yourself a coffee, enjoy the vibe. So I'm a bit tired right now and I'm recording this like a little bit later on than I usually would. And also, this is going up day of. I have missed a coffee chat. I have missed recording a coffee chat. I know, shameful behavior on me. But uh, yeah, this is going up day of. I'll, I'm gonna try and get back on track tomorrow. But by the time you're watching this, just know that it has only been like an hour or two since I started recording. So, you know, we're, we're a little bit off today, we'll just say. Like, it's literally quarter past nine and I'm having a coffee because I gotta make the video. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to sleep tonight. I mean, I have a, I have a four pack down in my fridge, so maybe I will be able to sleep tonight. But you know, it's like, I, <laughs> I'm playing very loose and fast here. Yeah, I mean, like I've I've gone a little bit. Like this weekend was well. This weekend was a movie. All right, cut, like cut me some slack. I woke up yesterday in a place I had never been. Seven hours away from my home. So, like, give me a break here. And I was hungover as shit, too. Like, I was, I was in a way. <laughs> and I couldn't touch my eyes, lest I dispense chili oil into my you know, into here, which is not a fun place to have it, I won't lie. And a bit of context about that, me and a couple of mates, when we got to the place that we were at, uh, we started playing like this, like card game. I, I don't know the rules or what it's called, but like, either way, it doesn't matter what the game was. What matters is the loser had to take a teaspoon of hot sauce that was brutally hot I should know I was the loser and I had to take that and you know at first I was just like eh fuck it we ball because I'm normally like that you get me like I'm I normally I don't mind suffering a bit like I, I'll I'll suffer like I'm fine with it so you know I, I took the teaspoon I did not expect what would happen next but you know, like, I was, I was able to deal with it, but to say that I wish I was at home just drinking a coffee and having a smoke would be an understatement. So, yeah, I was just there with, like, this devilishly hot hot sauce just burning me from the inside out. And I spilled some on my, on my leg, and my skin started to burn. Like, th this was, this was intense shit. <laughs> and like, I started rubbing my face, I got it in my eyes, and oh man, it was, it was awful. It, it was, don't, don't do what I have done. Don't do what I have done. Don't make the same mistake. That sure is just some good crack. Also, I just want to emphasize, because some of you might not know that I'm Irish, crack is just like, ah, uh, it's just a good bit of fun. Not like, you know the, like, not that. I'm, I'm not, not that. <laughs> but yeah, no, it was, it was a, it was a good bit of fun. It was a good bit of fun. Sure, like, when I'm, when I'm out, like on a night out. I'm not hard to like I'm not a heavyweight, right? I I get fucked up very easily and very quickly. But when I get to like that 1 HP sort of level where it's like I'm just like that little bit away from dying and just like blacking out or throwing up or any of that sort of stuff. I can survive on that for like 
hours. Like, I can survive on that. I'm resilient. I'm hard to kill. But it doesn't take a lot to get me to that point. But I can survive on that point for a while. Anyway, yeah, some of my skin still burns. <laughs> so, again, don't do what I have done. Big mistake. Big mistake. I couldn't even, like, get home. Well, like, I was able to get home, as is obvious by me being home. But, uh, yeah, no, I I didn't have enough money for the bus back. I didn't have enough money for the train back, even. I was stuck out there. But luckily, my granddad was very close by, and he was driving through that way anyway. So, like, thankfully, he was able to pick me up. But, uh... Yeah, no, it it was a it was a wild one. It was a wild one. And uh yeah, <laughs> yeah. That that's all I have to say about it. Just yeah. I mean, when I when I woke up in this random guy's house, well, not random guy. I've met him like a few times before, right? But I I've only met him like twice before this night. When I ended up in this guy's house, uh I woke up on the floor next to, like, a pull-up and dip rack. Like, with, like, a blanket over me, right? And I was just wandering about, like, trying to figure out where all my stuff was. I hazarded a guess that the pouch on the table was mine. I don't know if it was, but I haven't gotten any complaints about it, so I assume it was. Uh, you know, I... Rolled myself a rolly. I couldn't find my skin, so I was like, all right, fine, I'll just buy some when I get home. And you know, like, I, I was, I was fairly calm. And then I tried the door, like the front door. I couldn't figure out how it worked. It was locked. And I was just like, all right, fuck, I'm stuck here then. Looked around a bit more, you know, like, just... I didn't know what to do, so I was just, like, looking around, trying to see, like, trying to wake up, essentially. Because I had just woken up. And then I was like, you know what, fuck it. Jumped out the window. And, like, I opened the window, I didn't smash through it. But, you know, I, I jumped out the window. I walked around. Uh, his neighbor saw me jump out the window, I think, so I don't know what the hell she was thinking, but... Hey, I, I've made an impression, we'll just say. So I started walking, and I got, like, this really beautiful view, and all I could think in my head was, man, blessed be God. You get me? Like, I was just there, like, man, God really, he's carrying here. Because <laughs> it was just, like, this beautiful view, and I just felt very peaceful, and, like, you know, I was just thinking about God, and I was just like, hell yeah. Which, you know, like, a lot of people, if I tell people that, like, when I drink, I tend to think a lot about God, and I tend to be, like, very grateful for God in those moments, a lot of people would be like, oh, but you're drunk, yeah. I never said I was perfect, all right? Like, I, I'm not perfect. I'm still a sinner, and I'm still, like, a baby Christian, essentially. Like, I only converted back in November, right? So, like, at, I'd say where I am right now in terms of, like, my Christian life, I am just learning how to walk. I'm still, like, falling over, but I'm, I'm taking, like, my first few steps, right? So, you know, like, I'm, I think about God a lot when, like, I'm drunk, especially when I'm drunk. And it's like... I know, I, I hope he doesn't, like, hate me or, like, love me any less because of that. But, again, God's love is never changing, so. I'm gonna have faith that he doesn't hate me because I'm drunk. And, yeah, I'll just, I'll just think about him and just, like, I'll be happy about it. And I'll try and spend time in his presence and all.
And I know that does sound weird, spending time in God's presence when you're drunk. But, like, it's possible. Like, it's something that you can do. And, like, it's not like it, want, it's not like it makes you want to drink more. You want to drink less, if anything. Because it's just like, damn, why do I need to drink when I could just spend time with the creator of the universe? That being said, I am drinking tonight, so. Yeah. But, like, you know, it. it's just because I've been drinking every night this week. I know that sounds awful. And it is awful. And I don't want to be doing that. Like, I, I really don't want to be doing that. That's a slippery slope right there. But, you know, I'm sure if I go to church tomorrow, I'll be, I'll be grand. Honestly. Because, like, every time I go to church, it's like... Sin just doesn't, well, no, it, sin is still there, like, the temptation and all is still there, but it's, like, I'm a lot less likely to sin or go astray when I've gone to church, which is why I like going to church a lot, but, you know, as of recent, I've been sort of missing it, and, uh, I can tell the detrimental effects it's been having. I miss the piece of when this series first started because when the uh, coffee chats first started I was like sort of coming out of the uh, it's so over type of like you know the winter depression sort of thing right I was sort of coming out of that and like you know I was I was at the point where it was like all right we're we're good we're we're chill it, it's fine now you get me like I was at peace with everything and, uh, I kind of missed that piece. Like, that piece was really, like, it was really something. Thought someone just knocked on my door. But, uh, yeah, no, it's like, I missed that piece. I want to get back to it. But I know I'm probably not going to be able to get back to it because I've been, I've been wanting to get back to it for, like, two weeks now, right? So... I'm not sure if I can get back to it realistically. I think I'm just like at that point in the sort of cycle of like happiness and sadness where it's like, all right, you're just, you're in the, you're in this sort of part of it, right? And so like, let's say this is like the happy times, right? This is like the sort of growth period. And that's sort of where I like to be. I like being in that growth period because it's, just very peaceful right and then this is sort of where I am right now I'm not sure if this is making any sense but I'm in like the happy time I'm at the point now where it's like I feel good but I don't have that same fire under my ass I don't have that same like peaceful sort of life it's like it's a little bit more convoluted right now so then, you know, the rest of the cycle continues on. But I do want to get back to that piece. That piece is, like, where it's at for me. Also, I didn't even say this. Thank you for 500 subscribers, man. That is, that is sick. I don't know how we got to this point, but... I'm glad to have you all here. It's very great that... You know, like, this is actually the dream starting to realize itself. You get me? Like, the ball's rolling. We're going. We're rocking by. It's awesome. And especially to the people that were in the first 100. I still, like, remember when I started getting a bunch of comments on my videos. And just, like... Being so excited that people were actually watching my videos and wanted to, like, watch them. Like, yeah, like, wanted to watch them. That's That was crazy to me. And it's like, I, I hate to say that it's sort of lost on me. But, like, you know, I'm not really replying to comments as much. And, like, I really, I want to do that. I really do, but... Just, I'm not that type of person where I can just constantly, like, text on my phone, you get me? 
Like, I'm not the type of person that can just talk to people over, like, I'm not the type of person to talk to someone when I'm not face to face with them. You get me? Like, it's very hard for me to do that. I need to be face to face with someone. I can't just, you know, write on a keyboard or like do that sort of stuff. And I really want that to be different. I want to like, you know, I want to partake in the comments and like have discussion with you in the comments. But that's just not something that I can really do. But I have found I am better at it on live streams. Like when I when I do live streams, right? It's like I'm very much on my game just talking to people in chat. But we're back. Uh yeah, so I I had an idea for a live stream earlier where once we hit a thousand, uh we'll like I'll just have a drink on like you know, on camera. And you know, just have the chat there, just have a little like have conversation going. You know, just have fun with it. Because I found that live streaming is actually kind of fun. I didn't think I would like doing it, but I really liked the last one. And in case you weren't there for it, you missed out on some stuff. Like, on some stuff, I'll just say. The VOD's up, like, on the channel. But you missed out on, like, a very fun coffee chat. Coffee Coffee's down. Alright. Thank you for watching. Keep running when no one else is. We'll see you in the next one.